Good morning hockey family, Etienne from Field Hockey Education. In today's coaching video, we're going to do a nice little continuous mini game. So in this video, you'll see the drill layout, how it works, and the purpose of this continuous mini game. I hope all your coaches can uh, use this mini game for your training sessions. And I know players like mini games. So yeah, I hope you enjoy this video and let's go. If you have not subscribed yet, please click that little icon in the bottom corner. Please like this video because it shows a support towards my channel. Thank you for all the support so far in this channel. I really do appreciate it and enjoy the next video. With this continuous mini game, the field's going to be divided into two. This side's always going to be three against three. This side's always going to be three against two. There's balls where the attackers are going to start. What's going to happen is attacker's objective is to score in the goals. The defender's objective is to get the ball over this line or that line. Um, so if the 3v3 starts, whatever happens in this game, if they score a goal or the defenders get the ball over or the ball goes over the line, these attackers start with their attack as soon as possible. Whatever happens in this game, attackers score with ball goes over that line, these attackers will start attacking as quick as possible. So they need to keep looking at what's going to happen so they can keep attacking as quick as they can. For a little progression and where it will become more of a continuous mini game is as soon as this game's done, and these attackers are starting to play. These two defenders will run around and they will become the next attackers in this mini game. Two of these attackers will become the next two defenders in this mini game, so one attacker will stay behind. Two attackers in this mini game will become these two defenders. These two defenders, after their mini game is done, they will become the two attackers going over this side so there will be three attackers this side and three attackers there and it will become a continuous mini game going from there The purpose of this mini game from the attacking side is they learn how to attack in small spaces. They learn how to use their advantage in a small area to get past the defenders as quick as possible and then they can have a goal opportunity. They also learn how to make small leads to get behind defenders and eliminate that defender to actually have an advantage. Uh, over maybe one defender left or two defenders left so that they can get past those defenders really quickly and get a goal opportunity. They also learn with passing in small spaces the pass and move. So as soon as they pass, they need to make a lead so that the guy on the ball has an option to pass the ball and not just pass the ball and leave the guy on the ball to do, can't do anything with the ball then. So they learn that specific way of passing and moving as well in this game. Purpose for the defending side is they learn how to defend in small numbers. So in this scenario, they will learn when to step towards the guy with the ball or when to hold off, trying to make it as long as possible for the attackers to get into the circle for their players to come back and help them defend. They also, they also learn if they're going to make a tackle, their angle of approach has to be in a way where they can approach the attacker so that they can make the tackle, but also if the attacker gets past them, that the attacker is still on the outside of the field and not cutting inside, making it impossible for a defender to retreat and then make another tackle or defend properly. And they will also learn how to talk to each other, especially with the small numbers, 
they talk to each other so the communication is going to get a lot better um, on the one side the keeper is going to be there so the keeper can help with his communication as well so in all in all the defenders and the keeper start getting a nice relationship by communicating with each other when to step when not to step um, hold 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 all that type of stuff to try and keep the attackers as long as possible out the circle for them to defend properly so that was the continuous mini game as you all can see it is a nice little mini game that you can play with your players at the end of the session or even 20 minutes like i said before and there's a lot of stuff they can work on with this mini game so um, please use it if you can coach it it's a really nice type of mini game that you can play with your players and they will struggle a little bit probably in the first bit to try and catch it but as soon as they catch the the essence of the mini game it's going to be a really fast paced mini game they're going to be tired afterwards and um yeah it's a great mini game to teach them all that necessary stuff that they need to learn so they can become better players so thank you for watching this video i really do appreciate it and see you next time bye bye